It's so invisible. They call back. Welcome! This build guide will go over all aspects of a Solrest Phantasm Guardian character that makes use of new or updated mechanics in 3.16 Scourge League. Armor is buffed to now be twice as effective and Brass Dome Unique Body Armor provides the highest armor rating in the game, but only works with Energy Shield builds. By stacking nearly 80,000 armor rating, we can heavily reduce physical damage taken from non-deadly hits directly or mitigated with maximum value Molten Shell. Damage that passes through gets quickly mended by the new Divine Shield Keystone, which grants regeneration based on mitigation amount. The remaining damage is absorbed into ES Pool that is built through item and passive tree options. For Ascendancy, Guardian's Time of Need Notable amplifies ES regeneration. Radiant Faith boosts our ES pool by 700. The remaining two notables, Radiant and Unbearing Crusades, are made for minion builds, as they grant numerous damage increase bonuses to allies. Solrest Unique Staff manifests these bonuses by spawning up to 21 ranged minions anytime a corpse is consumed. This trigger does not require sockets to be linked, saving us currency on 6 linking. Each support gem benefits minions and they go as follows. Summon Phantasm to boost our minion limit, LMP for clearing, faster projectiles for adequate range, minion damage, added cold damage and control destruction for more DPS. For bosses, you can swap LMP with slower projectiles. Other sources of DPS increases include passive skill tree notables and their clusters, large 8-point passive minion damage cluster jewel, fortress covenant and quickening covenant unique jewels, rare abyss ghastly eye jewels with energy shield and minion damage, active gem buffs such as frenzy charge generating specters, this concludes the core mechanic setup for this build, but let's go over other important notes. Chaos Inoculation Keystone makes the character immune to chaos damage, removing the need to invest into partial mitigation completely. Time of Need and the new Armor Energy Shield Mastery grants immunity to curses. Brass Dome prevents critical damage. Combined with Prismatic Skin Anoint, 82% to all elemental resistances is achieved. Grave Intentions Notable and Mask of the Stitch Demon Unique Helmet allows for a Kingmaker Animated Guardian setup which grants Calling Strike and 10 Fortification Stacks. Normally, Summon Phantasms die instantly, forcing you to resummon by standing still, leaving the character vulnerable. Bless Rebirth will prevent that. Kitawa's Teachings is not mandatory, but removes the need to spam Flesh Offering. Also, allocate Convocation Cooldown Recovery Mastery if you feel like your minions are too behind. For Pantheons, Soul of the Brine King will deny stun locking and getting frozen when upgraded. Soul of Ralakesh will deny rapid death to bleeding. To prevent ignites and shocks, adequate flask crafting is a must. For last layer of defense, two of the staff block clusters are combined with Rumi's Concoction Unique Flask to provide 44 attack and 38 spell block chance. Don't forget to include Hindering mod on one of your Ghastly Eye Jewels as it will save your life against Hasted and Cyrus-influenced rare enemies.